Justin Bieber announces new music, a 2020 tour and docuseries. Five years after last album. He told fans in March that he was taking a break from music to focus on repairing some deep rooted issues. And after teasing the prospect of new music on social media over the past few days, Justin Bieber has revealed he's back and ready for 2020. The 25 year old announced on Tuesday via a YouTube video that he would be releasing his first single, Yummy, on January 3rd, before a full stadium album tour in the docuseries. Justin began the trailer by coming out of a shack-like house and walking around the desert town. He made his mate to a gas station where he sat and a voiceover of Justin talking played. As humans, we are imperfect, he began in the extended trailer. My past, my mistakes, all the things that I've been through, I believe I'm right where I'm supposed to be and God has me right where he wants me. He continued. I feel like this is different than the previous albums just because of where I'm at in my life. I'm excited to perform it and to tour it. We all have different stories, I'm just excited to share mine." Justin ended the clip by saying, It's the music that I've loved the most out of everything I've done. Fans were also gifted with a preview of his new single, Yummy, that he'll be releasing on January 3, 2020. Lyrics included, Could you be with me forever? Every time I go the wrong way you turn me back around. Another part of the song hears, When you come around me, do me like you miss me even though you've been with me. Yeah you've got that yummy yum that yummy yum. Justin's trailer also saw him reveal his 46 city tour dates. The tour will begin in Seattle, Washington, on May 14th and conclude in East Rutherford, New Jersey, on September 26th. He will also play in Canada from the beginning to mid-September. And while 46 shows seems like a lot, to many fans' surprise, the dates did not include a performance in New York, New York. East Coast fans from the city will have to travel the September 26 New Jersey show to see the Sorry Singer. Los Angeles residents will also need to travel to Pasadena to catch Justin on May 29. Justin's return comes after he revealed earlier in the year that he was taking a break from music to focus on repairing some deep-rooted issues. He promised fans at the time that when he returned he'd be stronger than ever before. So I read a lot of messages saying you want an album, I've toured my whole teenage life, and early 20s, I realized and as you guys probably saw I was unhappy last tour and I don't deserve that and you don't deserve that. You pay money to come and have a lively energetic fun light concert and I was unable emotionally to give you that near the end of the tour, he began at the time. I have been looking, seeking, trial and error as most of us do, I am now very focused on repairing some of the deep-rooted issues that I have as most of us have, so that I don't fall apart, so that I can sustain my marriage and be the father I want to be. He went on to talk about how music is very important to him but there isn't anything that comes before his family and health. I will come with a kick-ass album ASAP, my swag is undeniable and my drive is indescribable his love is supernatural his grace is that reliable. Justin concluded with, the top is where I reside period whether I make music or not the king said so. But I will come with a vengeance believe that. Grammar and punctuation will be terrible pretend it's a text where you just don't care. The baby singer has continued to tease his comeback on social media over the past few weeks. Monday saw him pose shirtless in front of piano with the caption, December 24th, December 31st, January 3rd, number 2020. While December 24th marks today, his 2020 trailer release in January 3rd will see him drop, yummy. December 31st remains a mystery. Justin's last album, Purpose, was released in 2015. His last solo single, Company, from the Purpose album, was released in 2016 and reached 38 in Canada and 53 on the US charts. The single before, Love Yourself, reached number one all around the world. Since then he appeared on Blood Pop's song, Friends, in 2017 and Ed Sheeran's, I Don't Care, Billie Eilish's, Bad Guy Remix, and Dan Plus Shay's, 10,000 Hours, all in 2019.